Yes guys, as part of this session, I am going to make you guys understand about one of the important operation of circular cube, which is pending, okay? That operation is display operation, okay? Now, so as part of this display operation, if you guys are uh, feeling comfort in a regular or simple uh, cube display operation, I am sure that this particular operation is going to be very easy for you guys. If you didn't understand the simpler uh, regular uh, cube data structures uh, display operation, I request you guys to go and brush that particular session one. So you can feel very comfort in it. Okay. So now let me go and discuss about this particular uh, display operation from the scratch. It is a circular cube guys. Try to understand this one. It is a circular cube. So we'll be having having some different scenarios through analysis we have to come across those scenarios and we have to be in position to display the elements okay in particular certain order according to the rule and regulation of the circular queue this is what our duty here being as the computing science student now let us go for that so here uh, what are the two scenarios to be uh, done or uh, to be checked is only to think as i said earlier what is the trick here whenever uh, you are uh, talking with i mean you are talking about the numeric values as part of uh, earlier session the trick is only one thing you have to check whether a particular i mean if you are uh, talking about any primitive values how many scenarios will be there for you to check as i said earlier one will be the less than or less than equals to and other one will be as greater than greater than equals to and other one is like double equals to and not equals to so here as part of the circular uh, the q how many scenarios we are going to come across here we are going to come across only two scenarios that is what one is f is less than r what is currently r guys try to focus it's very important uh, and uh, if it is like if you are not getting this one uh, according to the concept just try to imagine it okay so as i said earlier uh, that was the trick for uh, any good analyzer as i said uh, like uh, less than less than equals to greater than greater than uh, i mean greater than or equals to double equals or not equals to those things will be i mean uh, you will be if you do more uh, relationship with the analysis part uh, then uh, those things will be in your brain and you can digest those things uh, very easily if you didn't digest that one please don't worry just try to understand these scenarios how many scenarios we are going to come across when we are performing the analysis part okay let me put okay if you didn't get that okay leave it no problem just focus on this one okay so we are having only two scenarios what is that my front will be less than rear so how i have to display as part of the insert and display operation i think i have made notice you guys that whenever you are displaying a particular elements uh, which are available in my or in our circular data structure we have to display the elements from which cursor onwards front cursor onwards that is the rule and regulation of the circular queue try to focus it's very important so and also what is here f is front okay try to uh, try to manage it okay i didn't put this one as front and rear okay both f and r in our programming also we have taken that one as f and r okay but there must and should be two cursors right try to focus so now here what is the scenario here f is less than r so if what is the case if, if it is like that what if or the cursor like front always represents an index uh, so that index will be having a particular element uh, so that element will be the oldest element among all the elements uh, that is in our customized elements try to focus this one in our customized elements uh, whatever the cursor that is front is pointing the index in that particular index block the element will be representing or that element is the oldest element among all the elements which are available to us it is very important try to focus okay meaning is what so we have to pop not pop internally an array will be using by the circular queue on that array data structure we are going to impose some rules and regulations to achieve the circular queue right this and all basics no need to worry about that but we are concentrating on the complex thing how to write the logic that is the analysis through analysis we are writing each and every instruction so that it will be understandable one to the jvm to execute right now so always f represents the i mean uh, highest or the least or what we can put this word as the oldest element among all the elements right what is the oldest element in the sense what is the basic principle of q first in first come right so always f must and should represent the oldest element so if among all these elements the oldest okay think that i have inserted first nine okay so after that i have inserted double nine now which is the oldest element here 
which has been inserted first oldest element in the sense first in okay so among these two elements which is the oldest element nine is the oldest element or this is the first inserted element among these two elements so these should get display first so that's why that particular index i mean this particular elements corresponding index will be pointed with whom this front cursor that's why we are making sure and we are using the front cursor index value for our display operation try to understand it if you are not digesting it it just repeat it you will be feel comfort in it okay no need to worry now and after displaying this element what we are doing after displaying i am going to increment my front cursor so it will be here so this is only one element among or uh, i mean if you are taking only this element uh, which is the least uh, or uh, which is the highest to oldest element here this is the highest to oldest element or this is the i mean uh, first inserted element if you consider only this element okay this is my customized element okay try to focus we are having two memory blocks in that one block we are having double line in another block we are having nine so in these two blocks which is the least uh, i mean uh, like first inserted element or the highest to low i mean highest to oldest element highest to oldest element is nine that's why i displayed this one after that i am going to display i am going to display this one i am going to increment my cursor now i am going to display this one because that is the only element which is available in my circular data structure to get display okay that is the only element there is no other comparison for that element with any other element there is no other element to do any comparison for getting or knowing the highest to oldest element try to focus right so and this thing so that's why what i'm going to do here is i'm going to use the front cursor for my future use okay now and this is the one more scenario and this is one scenario like f is less than or and what if the case so this scenario when we are going to face is if front is greater than rear that is front is 1 and rear is 0 so when this situation or this scenario we guys are going to face is i did a lot of analysis that's why i wrote this one directly but let me make you guys aware of that particular scenario how it is going to come this is for uh, all the guys who are with uh, computing science background or uh, not with computing i mean uh, computing science background okay now so think that this is my currently so after this insertion what i am going to do here is if i do insert operation what is going to happen here jvm is going to kick me why it is full right in a particular way we have written the statements before inserting we are going to check whether it is full or not if it is full please don't insert any elements like that jvm is going to prompt some messages to the user if it is not full what we are going to do it allows us to enter an element that particular element is going to get insert in a particular index where the memory block was empty even though that i mean here as i said if you are not getting this one try to focus once on insert operation because the element is not going to get delete okay but we are going to use the indexes our main intention to be done only on indexes try to focus on this one this is important trick okay try to focus now so what is the case after this one now we are having nine double nine guys let me go for that scenario and let me make you guys aware of that one my rear was at lost index my friend was at starting index so now what i have done is i try to insert an element now jvm is not allowing me to insert that particular element now what i am going to do here is cleverly and i am going to i mean delete this particular element so we are printing this element just to give a convenience i mean just to convince the user oh oh this is the element i am going to delete like that to make him aware of that scenario we are making to display this particular element that's why we are writing one a system dot out dot print ln statement at the time of deleting an element okay try to focus so after that one we are going to increment f okay honestly this particular element has and been i mean this didn't get a delete from the memory it was as it is in the memory but by using cursors only that is by using indexes only we are going to access an element from the array right that is very important to us right now so there is one block which i mean there is one index and that index corresponding block was containing a data which is not customized one okay that is an uncustomized one that is unwanted data to us so what i do here if i use insert method i mean jvm is going to prompt me or it is going to allow me to insert an element right why because it is the circular queue 
it knows that one element was uh, i mean uh, one particular block was available or one particular corresponding index block was available to insert an element right this is how we have done at the time of inserting also if your guy is not getting this one try to brush once the insert operation okay now so now if i do in, i mean if i want to insert an element so where that element is going to get inserted by the jvm so she is going to insert that particular element by making this here to zero okay so now if i do input like uh, triple nine so that particular element is going to be in this particular block so now where is so or gone okay that is ria was not pointing the last index of an array it is pointing the first index of an array okay and even this front gone because of display i mean because of delete operation now front was at first index rear was at zeroth index what is the value of front it is 1 what is the value of rear it is 0 so now front is greater than rear so this is the two scenarios which we are going to come across at the time of display operation that is what i want to convey to you okay now so this is what here okay that's what uh, but i have written that one directly no need to get confused anything okay now let me go for that okay let us go and write the instruction so guys think that we have created what an array of size 4 okay we have created an array of size 4 okay so if it is like a primitive int array definitely the values uh, that is the block values will be as 0 default values will get filled right that is a pure basic okay don't forget to escape from basics basics without basics we can't do anything okay don't escape from that one okay now so now what is going to be happen here based on front and rear index values only we are making sure that it, whether that particular index corresponding block is containing my customized data or my wanted data if my cursor and rear currently where this uh, rear and front will be pointing minus one right so this and all basics at the time of insertion i made it with very good good explanation okay and if you want if you are not feeling comfort please go and brush it once okay